Ben of the made it quite clear he's going to go 101% all or bust. The third fastest man, 0.16 is his advantage that he brings with him from the first run over Alberto Tomba. Stanger Singer looking for his second victory of the season. Remember, a winner last weekend in Japan. Settles into the rhythm. Much more aggressive than the first run. The Olympic slalom champion of 94, gunning against the Olympic slalom champion of 88. Oh, it's gone! The advantage has disappeared. Two hundreds to find. Stangersinger needs to go some now. Stangersinger had Tomba in the silver medal position at the Olympic Games of 94. Will Tomba have his revenge here in Vail, Colorado? Stangersinger keeps the momentum going. The finish within his sights, 38-1-9, and he's done it! Stangersinger has stolen the lead away from Tomba. The last four turns, textbook technique. 0.13 of a second, up on La Bomba, and Austria take the lead. Italy now second, with Mario Reiter dropping into third position. Two men remain. Facing have been in these top five. Finjaga. Stanger Singer has claimed 100. If Jaga cannot deliver the goods here. Now Finn hasn't won since 1994. Vranc of course, is most memorable. And renowned victory, the Olympic slalom in 92. Tomba in silver medal position there as well. Into halfway, he has a huge margin over seven tenths to bring with him, and it's there, losing nothing. 0.7 of a five. 0.75 of a second, I should say. The 30-year-old from Oslo, Finn Jaga, is flying. A win here for Jaga could put him third in the standings. And this would be a superb end to this personable Norwegian season. The attacking Vikings coming in, coming in strong. 38.06 is the target time and Jaga's done it. He's done it by 0.12. Finn Jaga takes the eighth and finals, tenth and final slalom of the season.